It's okay to start with nothing. I, after I've been doing these large drawings and murals and things like that, I thought, well, maybe I should bring it back to the studio and do you know, a large piece. So I went out and bought a uh, you know, heavyweight canvas. I decided maybe I should do another one. And I, I have spread out the canvas on my wall for about three months now and just, and the idea just wouldn't come. <laughs> and, you know, so I really haven't been, I kept doing some other smaller work, small drawings on paper just to, you know, keep feeding, you know, sort of uh, the, the idea in a very ambient way. I have this philosophy about my work. Sometimes um, it's okay to start with nothing. Sometimes it's okay to just don't, you know, just stop making sense and just flow. So a few days ago, I. I decided that perhaps it's time. And I just came into the studio and I started playing. You know, I just started playing with colors. The brush strokes were free and as much with this kind of painting, sometimes I what I do is I start by trying to excavate my own work. All those little details you see in my drawings in the background are actually sources for other compositions that when I tap into them and make them large, they form other works, you know, other abstract pieces that I make. And some of them could, could you know, form a whole lot of new ideas and, and so on. So that's, that was the basis for this piece here. So I started out just playing with lines and, um, and throwing colors on the canvas and you know, uh, playing with red lines and so on. And, and I was one of the things I wanted to also do differently was most people know my work as having these black drawing lines. This time around I wanted to draw with red. So that's, I started out doing that with colors so on and the more I, I explored it the more it just started coming together.
the painting is done and uh, I, I sat back and was looking at it, then it, uh, it struck me for how much of my, my angst at the moment is, is poured into this work. Given the current political environment that we are in, this, in, a, in the United States at the moment, so I, I started out not wanting to think about that, and just wanted to, you know, to paint, and just thought of doing work the way that I don't, I usually don't do. But then I realized that as I was doing it, I was really feeling more and more. I wouldn't say I was angry, but. It's sort of, it's kind of a different way of working, of just pouring out. My strokes were different. My strokes were much more loose, and I was more spontaneous with it. I didn't realize that it's a way for me to release and to resist any attempts by anybody to take my freedom and my happiness, which is why I guess the colors are the way they are. Even though I'm angry, but it's not a dark piece. I don't think because of the colors that I'm using, I'm actually expressing much more uh, positive energy. And it's defined in a way because I'm not trying to control how it goes. The strokes are broad and different. And for me, I believe it is, I'm really expressing my angst at the moment. It, I did not realize that until it just, it hit me the way that it, it did. You know, without even thinking much about it, I was able to just release and let go. I didn't know, I didn't realize how much tense I was <laughs> before getting, you know, starting to do the, this painting. And um, I guess it's a way to just say that in spite of whatever anybody is trying to do, uh, they would not control my freedom and happiness. And um, if I want to believe in the American expression of the idea of a pursuit of happiness, I think that what is going on in America right now is some people trying to deprive others of the pursuit of their happiness. And I think that what, I've, what I did, with looking back at the work that I've made, is to try to resist that, try to, to resist anyone taking that away from me. Mm -hmm.